Hi, I'm Jane Smith. I'm the author of this book, A New World. It's the first book in the Carly Mills Pioneer Girl series. Today, I'm just going to read you chapter one from this book. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter one, The Shawls. Are you nervous? Dora asked. No, Carly replied. Should I be? Dora tipped her head to the side and thought for a moment. I suppose not, she said at last. It's not as if you'll never see your home again. A lump swelled in Carly's throat. She was a bit nervous now that she thought about it. In a couple of months, she would be leaving her family's farm at Apis Creek to go to boarding school in Brisbane. She would move far away from everything she knew. Her parents, her little sister, the horses, the cattle and the dogs to live in the city. She had no idea what it was going to be like. She wasn't used to cities, and she most certainly wasn't used to being apart from her family. I will miss it, Carly said in a small voice. Of course you will, Dora replied with a kind, gap-toothed smile. You're a country girl, but the city's not so bad, is it? Carly stopped and looked around at the harbour. She was visiting family friends in Sydney for the school holidays as a special treat before starting high school. It was a sparkling, hot summer's day. The harbour bridge formed a perfect silver arc through a blue sky, and the sun shone upon the water. Hundreds of boats, big and small, bobbed and glided about the harbour, and people bustled here and there upon the wharf. Carly grinned. No, she said, it's not bad at all. A wave of excitement suddenly washed over her. OK, she said eagerly. What next? Hmm, said Dora, pushing her glasses up on her nose and peering at a guidebook. What about the botanic gardens? Sure, said Carly. She wasn't really interested in gardens, but she was just getting to know Dora and didn't want to disappoint her. Dora and Carly's mothers had been best friends when they were at boarding school. The girls had met once or twice before, but never spent time together without their parents. This trip to Sydney was a real adventure for Carly. It was her first time on a plane and her first time in Sydney. Her parents had driven her to Brisbane and she had flown to Sydney by herself. She felt very grown up. And now here she was in the big city without any adults. Dora was a Sydney girl and being in the city was no big deal for her. Carly was trying not to show how deeply the sights impressed her. Great, said Dora, pointing straight down that street and then left. Carly happily trotted along the busy street beside her. Dora was short and freckled and wore brightly coloured and mismatched clothing, a floral shirt and green patterned skirt with ankle boots and yellow socks. Her red hair was pulled tightly into pigtails. Carly had never met anyone like her before. What's that building? Carly pointed across a wide, busy courtyard. That? Dora said, raising her eyebrows at a tall, grand sandstone building. That's Customs House. They have museum exhibitions in there. Want to have a look? Sure, Carly shrugged. They walked across the courtyard and through an arched doorway into the foyer. There were people everywhere. A group of tourists was being led around by a woman with a clipboard, and men in overalls were pushing boxes around on trolleys. A woman hurried past and bumped into them. Sorry, they all said at the same time. Can I help you girls? The woman asked in a tight voice, as if helping them was the last thing on earth she felt like doing. Can we see the exhibition? Dora asked. I'm sorry. Not today, the woman replied. We're in the middle of a big clean-up. We're changing exhibitions and moving things out. Oh, said Dora, disappointed. Thanks anyway, but the woman had already gone. A man trundled past with a trolley full of boxes and disappeared through a door that said, staff only. Carly saw something flutter to the ground. Hey, she cried, pushing her way through the crowd. There was a pile of fabric on the floor. She bent to pick it up and found two identical pieces of material. They were triangular and edged with lace. The fabric was soft delicate and a faded orange colour, perhaps yellowed with age. 
Shawls, Carly said. She looked around for someone to hand them to. The only people she could see were tourists. Let me see, said Dora, squinting at the fabric. Ooh, they look old. Another man with a trolley pushed through the staff door. Excuse me, Carly said to him. Someone dropped these. Those old things, the man said, barely looking at the shawls in her hand. Probably getting rid of them anyway. Keep them if you like. Dora and Carly looked at each other. The man hurried off. Carly slowly handed one of the shawls to Dora, who tucked it into her carry bag with a shrug. Together, the girls walked back out of the building and onto the street. The gardens weren't far away, but the girls took their time walking there. There was so much to see. Dora pointed everything out patiently to, Do to Carly along the way. Carly hadn't been quite honest when she said she wasn't nervous about boarding school. In fact, she was terrified. But Dora's friendliness and the excitement of the city were helping her to ignore the butterflies in her stomach. The city sights took her breath away. The buildings were tall and glittering and there was more traffic than she'd ever seen in her life. In between the modern office blocks were elegant old sandstone buildings that hinted at the city's past. They came to an intersection and stopped at the traffic lights. They were taking ages to change. Carly gazed at an old building on the far corner and wondered what the street would have looked like in the olden days. She stroked the shawl. It was soft and fragile and spotted with age. She tried to imagine herself wearing it with a long, wide dress back in the days when horses and carriages rode through the cobbled streets. She flung the fabric around her shoulders and then everything went black. That's the end of chapter one. That's from Carly Mills, Pioneer Girl, book one, A New World. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.